Hey everyone, it's Sharp and Jars Fashion Nation, and I'm really just going to make this like a super quick video. And I've been watching a few makeup videos after the uh, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star um, collaboration palette merch and merch uh, came out. And it sold out, and you guys know, in a few of my videos, I have mentioned, like, some of you have hoarded this makeup. And now some of you are saying it applies patch. Well, here's the spiel on this. Now, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but here's the spiel on this. Now, in the modeling industry, if you know cosmetics... The way I do, even though I used to be an Avon lady, I do still plan on purchasing with Avon for my birthday month this month. Um, if you really and seriously pay attention to how Jeff and Shane have been applying the cosmetic to their eyes, they actually wet that brush. Oh, snap. That makes a difference. Also, what are you doing digging that brush? I saw that. Don't think I didn't see that. You're all like scrappy digging that brush into the palette. What are you doing? I saw that. And you're trying to make them feel bad? No. What are you doing? No. Oh my goodness. Like, like I said, I don't even have any makeup on right now. None. Not even foundation. Okay? I don't even... Exactly. I don't even have foundation on. This is just the normal look of my skin. Okay. No foundation. No eyeliner. No mascara. Nothing on my eyes. Okay. First of all, I've seen Rich Lux. Yes, I said that. Rich Lux with that palette I seen him with that brush and he wasn't digging in that palette because you don't dig in the palette you lightly take it around and if you're going to be in the palette to swatch it take your finger a little moist you know because you need to moisturize your hands before going going and digging in a palette Take it and just go like this in the palette and then swatch it. Your hands need to be moisturized before you touch that palette. And as a former model, and I'm going to leave some hashtags in here because I used to be a Wilhelmina model and that used to be called options model. And I used to be a Wilhelmina model. And apparently now Jeffree Star has a part in that modeling agency. Um, but the worst thing you can do is making a video where you're taking a brush and you're just digging in that palette. I could do that to an expensive palette too, but do I want to waste money? No. Do you like, and then you're doing a giveaway. Then you're making it seem like it's crap. Like, does that person really want that? Like, give it to me, I'll take it. 
because I actually know what to do with it. Like, oh, it's not the same formula. They partnered up with Morphe to help them. So you got to figure, okay, it wasn't just with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. They had a little help from Morphe. And uh, so this is how things came together, right? If you watched everything from start to finish with their videos, you would know this. You would know this. Absolutely. You would know this. I'm not putting out any hate. I'm just trying to put out some appreciate what you got because you guys hoarded that stuff and now you're putting out some, oh, well, this isn't that. Well, what'd you hoard it for then? You didn't give the people that actually know what to do with it a chance to actually purchase it. Don't dig in a palette with some dry brush. What are you doing? Serious. What are you doing? Well, I'll tell you what. Don't want to dig in with freaking brush and freaking palette. Stupid. That's so stupid. I'm not calling you stupid. I'm just saying that was a stupid move. That was just a stupid move on your part. It was a very stupid move on your part. Okay. And because you did that, show you a little tips and tricks on how to get a few things to stick right. It's my Elf Cosmetic. I just picked up a new one. You guys know I use this. And I use the flip side of it as a color corrector. If I feel I need it under my eyes. I know I do have a little skin blemish here. And for right here. And see, you can use this like that. See, like, I'm going to do a proper review on something, but then I'm going to purposely mess up along the way to show you what you did wrong. What you did wrong. I am purposely going to do that. Absolutely. I'm going to show you what you purposely did wrong. And then you tweet Shane to make him feel bad. I could tweet Shane on my other device and let him know you all are just trying to get some bank. Shame on you. Um, it's not his or Jeffrey's fault that you did not apply product correctly. If I had the chance to have that palette, I will tell you what, I would show the world the correct way to be playing in that palette. And then I'd be putting that shit away. Because quite frankly, that's a collector's item. me, you play with it every once in a while, 
but it's also a collector's item. Okay. Now let's say I'm going to do a little something with my eye. So, I find my brush. I can find it. So see, I usually have my brush with my other stuff and poop it went missing. But you know, a lot of you just mess around with stuff and you want to complain. Well, what's on your face in the first place? What's actually been on your brush? Yeah, that's a good question. What's been on your brush? It's a darn good question. Here it is. Here we go. My brush. I'm going to take an LA Colors palette. Right. And I don't really care about these palettes. I'm just going to use it. It's one of those everyday palettes. And I'm not going to go in with it wet. Okay. And I'm going to show you why. Because you can take this palette and do the same thing. Now, I'm going to go with a pink in here. I'm going to show you something. If you dig on that, like I saw in those videos, what happens to this palette? Oh, crap. It's all powdery and it's all powdery. It's all gross and powdery. Maybe you can't see that too good, but it's all gross and powdery. And, and look. Look how much fallout that has. I don't really use that color. How much fallout that has. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing trying to make Shane and Jeff feel like shit? What are you doing? Let me show you something. Take your spray. wet your brush. I'm going to go back into that same color. Except for I'm not going to dig the crap out of it. I'm going to take that same color, lightly go across, lightly go across. And oh my gosh! Does it have a little kickback? Barely! know why? This is LA Colors. It's a cheap formula. Does it go on? Yes. Indeed it does. Does it swatch? I've swatched these several times. And you know what? I have moisturized. I have moisturized every time I have put it on. Stop complaining. You got something expensive. What the hell are you complaining for? What are you complaining for? You got something expensive. Stop it. Stop it. Do you know how you make yourself look when you do that? Do you understand that? 
you understand? Did you really need all that makeup? Like, I'm only doing this to show you guys, like, did you really need all that makeup? Serious. And then you make Shane feel like shit. I'm appalled. I am appalled at the beauty community. Like, you guys know the freak better. Because you used to spritz your brush. You used to spritz your brush. And all of a sudden, I see you just... <laughs> into that palette. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Shame on you. And I'll tell you what. I'm using the Believe Foundation, not a sponsor, by uh, the Dollar General. Dang! And it's a color match. This isn't a color match, but I still use it for most of them. And I'm thinking about switching over to the Believe because this doesn't really have a lot in it. And that's a shame. And this is the Wet n Wild and it doesn't really have a lot in it. But y'all should be ashamed. Trying to dog on poor Shane for his first palette. Shame on you. The man... Y'all bought out everything. You broke the internet. And then you grab. What is your problem? Serious. What is your problem? Y'all have a problem when you're griping like that. This isn't the same, this isn't the same. But did you pay attention to the video or were you only paying attention to product? Did you watch all the videos or were you just in it to watch just the ending for the product? I have to question that. I really do. And I'm not dogging on on Jeff or um, or Shane. Let me tell you, like Jeff came from barely anything to make himself where he is today. Bless you, doll face. From getting where you are today, and that's an achievement by itself. Like I said, I remember his days of being on MySpace and talking to him on MySpace when he felt down about shit. And Kat Von D was really mean to him. I'd tell him, no, 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 no. It's okay. You're alright. No, I would try to pep him up and give him positive. And Kat was just a bitch. I don't like Kat Bondi. And she's only sold in Sephora, unlike Jeff. Jeff is his own boss. 
Anyway, I'm not doing a shit ton here because I'm not going out anywhere. Um, so maybe later I have a package to ship. Other than that, what are you guys griping for? Seriously, all, all I really hear like you guys do lately is gripe about something. What is your gripe for? Like you get something, you spent a crap ton of money on it, and then you gripe. Then why do you go back and continue to buy from these companies if you want to gripe about it? Why are you giving them money? Why are you giving these corporations money if all you're going to do is gripe? That, that right there is a good question. Why are you giving these corporations money if all you're going to do is gripe about it? Stop giving them money. Think about how that makes you look. And I'm being serious about that. Think about how that makes you look. And yes, I did touch up my boots. And my eyebrows. Yes, I do color my eyebrows. But serious. You're taking some dry ass brush. I can see this again. You're taking some dry ass brush and going like that. I got, I got to put something over my laptop. <sighs> yeah, because see, that got all over my laptop. You're taking some dry ass brush and you're just going like this. See how much is there? You see how much product you freaking waste? And you can blame yourself. Stop it. Stop it, because you made yourself look bad. Just stop it. Stop it. I like your channel and all, but when you always get something new, you gripe about it. And then you want to do a giveaway. But like I said yesterday, those comment pickers only pick the same people that want to agree with you about something. I was going to say you got a dupe one because that didn't look like their paper because it didn't. But then I see you all dig in the palette with a dry ass brush. What are you doing? What are you doing? Serious. What are you doing? I don't have time for some lame lameness. On trying to dog people that are really out there building their life up like that, changing what they're doing in their life to make themselves better. Uh, if you didn't know, Shane Dawson is manic depressant and you're not helping him any. You are not helping a manic depressant try to get out of being depressed by doing this shit. You are not helping him. Just so stop your shit. Why do you think Shane stays inside all the time? Because he's depressed. And now he's trying to pull his life together. Stop your shit.
trust me, it's my birthday month. If if Shane and Jeff decided to hit me up privately and send me those palettes because I want to give them a true product review, damn skippy, I would do it. Because I wouldn't be fucking around. Digging a brush into that damn palette, and don't think people will come at you like that for seeing your grime. And with that said, to the people that aren't grimy and trying to make a depressed person feel bad, stay happy. Stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And don't be grimy, because that doesn't help you. Where's your soul going because you're grimy? You better think about that, grimy. Soul don't go nowhere. I'm ashamed of all you trying to, like, shame them for, for what you did. You did it to yourself. That's right. It wasn't Shane and it wasn't Jeffrey. You did it to yourself. That's right. And some people caught on to that. There you go. Have a blessed day.